man and all. As you can see, it's snowing. <laughs> Doug's being a right idiot this morning. This must be the snow. Turns him into a knob. As you can see, it's not really sticking. The temperature reckons it's one degree. I put the heater on in the awning while I walk these two. We've got an hour before I start work. One and nine six. Welcome to my next video, by the way. But yeah, not great. I had to bash all the snow off my arm in again this morning. Oh well, we'll see what today brings, shall we? I tried my air fried boiled eggs again, so maybe one more minute longer. I tried them for five minutes that time, so I think six minutes would be the best bun. <laughs> I'll just finish work, but we're due for very high winds tomorrow, so I've not been lazy and I've got my storm drop on. I've got one there. One here. And one on the front over here. Tom, what are you on the side? I guess they me. With a little bit of imagination, I can make a ready meal in the air fryer and my little cooker. So I did all that on the hob and those in the air fryer. So I've got a roast chicken dinner for my tea. Good morning. I very glad I put my storm traps on last night because it's pretty damn windy. But I realised because I've just took the dogs over to the tent field because I had a nightmare about being in the woods last night. So going in the woods giving me the heebie-jeebies. So I just walked them around the tent field this morning. And um, as I walked past where the ring of vans are behind me, the wind was proper blowing me. So I'm quite protected where I am. So I'm on quite a good pitch with regards to wind. I'm just making myself some breakfast. I'm going to have big breakfast and a sausage, egg and hash browns. The sausages are just in the air fryer. I'll just start drinking my cup of tea. But yeah, I was up early because I had nightmares. <laughs> what's going on with my brain at the minute I had a good night's sleep the night before last and then last night I just had nightmares all night ugh on an 11 8 shift today what's wrong with you? hmm? what's the matter? you don't like the wind? you? Yeah. you don't like the wind? It is pretty windy. Um, some of the things in the awning have got knocked over in the night that was like kind of against the outer walls. But I think it should be all right. But I've got three storm traps on it. The pegs are all still in, so it should be all right. Breakfast is done. I started already because it was hungry. I have realised when I'm on these 11 eight shifts, if I have a proper breakfast, I'm not too bad because I tend not to eat a proper tea. It's about the time I finish at eight, I'm not that hungry. So I'm making myself eat proper breakfast when I'm on an 11 8 shift. It's getting windy about the minute. It's just blowing my driveway around quite a bit. I guess one of the benefits of getting having a nightmare and it waking you up early is it's only 20 to 9. I'm not in work till 11. I've walked the dogs, I've had a shower, I've had my breakfast. I still need to wash my pots. <laughs> that's, that's it for my chores. I'm just going to sit here and chill out. Make sure my awning doesn't blow away. Morning all. Storm Kathleen yesterday and I didn't have time to go on camera but I had an issue with my awning when the poles started to split so I tie wrapped and taped it together but I've just got up this morning and look our driver ways torn in the middle. The dog's barking at it because it's flapping about. I'm due for more winds today. Um, yeah storm one. On in zero, <laughs> I'm gonna have to have a look at what the damage is. So this is the damage. It's torn the drive away, basically, and to end where the seams are. And this is the pole that I taped off my entire wrap. Seems to be hanging on. But as you can see, it's pulling the tank quite badly still of the awning. Right, I'm gonna go and get a shower and. Fortunately, inside looks all right. Let's move the table a little bit and knocked everything off the back. <sighs> Weather in Scotland, eh? I'm back from my shower. Um, what the dogs had some breakfast. And I've had a gook. Um, I can't find a replacement driveway awning. So I had a look about repairs. And I can buy a pole repair kit to repair the pole, which is fine. It seems to be holding up all right so far. But I have read that you can repair them with duct tape. So 
I'm going to leave it for today because it's already torn. Not much I can do about it and it needs to be dry to try and repair it. Then on the next dry day, seeing it, it's just gone. Still crazy high winds here. On the next dry day, I'm going to take it off and try and repair it. This is not fun. You two aren't happy. You probably can't see, but just out the window there, oh, that big tree. We've had two massive branches come off that as well. Not been down into the forest yet, so I don't know what's happened down there, but I reckon some of them will be down. One of them was um, leaning on a dead tree, so yeah. And that was down near the lock. Just have to see what's going on. I'm not until 11. <laughs> It's nothing scary. Shush. Shush. Being stupid. Come here. Come here. Stop. Come on. Come on. You're being an idiot. <laughs> Protecting me from the scary wind. Yeah, so I'll just see what happens today. This this is supposed to die down a bit, but it's still quite high gusts. I really hope when this thing lasts because hang on, the money's about another one. <laughs> And it'll be alright for I've taken this down. Taking everything out, taking it down, even if I could get another one and get it in another one. Ugh. Oh well. Crack on with my day. I'll pick you up in a bit. Got bored, so I had to tidy up. There was more room on the floor. If I wanna do yoga, I can just put my mat out over there. Yeah. Better in it. I do get bored sitting, not doing anything. I have to do stuff. He's <laughs> digging for gold. <laughs> what? Why is she doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Lunatic. <laughs> I don't know where she thinks she's going to go. <laughs> she's off, off again. <laughs> she's the reason. When I get home, my bed is all messed up because that's probably what she does to the blankets while I'm out of work. Morning all. It's still very high winds here. My awning is surviving. I've still not managed to get the driveway off to get it fixed. Um, I need to get up and move and walk the dogs with them in at nine. As you can see, I've got a very sore eye. I think I'm coming down with cold, so I'm very stuffy and I've got a sore throat. Just falling in it got today and tomorrow in and then I'm off for two days so I hope I'm not poorly for my days off but I am going to move Gladys while I'm off because she needs a run so I need to decide where I'm going I need some shopping so I'll have to go down to Aviemore but I might go somewhere else before that are you two ready to go out or you want to stay in bed hmm? you staying in bed why are you getting up Hi! Hi, dear girl. <laughs> you come see me. <laughs> I'm gonna crack on with this day. I'm on a 9 6. See where the winds go because they're supposed to die off a little bit. And they did. And then at 4 o'clock this morning, they woke me up and they were moving the van around. So I kind of not slept well since then. Just sat on my dinner in the awning. The weather! It's turned absolutely beautiful. I don't know what's going on with the weather. It's supposed to get bad again tomorrow apparently. But for now, we're enjoying the sun. And we finish at six, so I might take these down the lock if it's still going to be nice. But I was sat chilling watching YouTube and I just had a notification on my phone that Davery, Davery 007 has bought me 31 coffees. Oh my god, you're so generous. Thank you so, so much. I will keep going and thank you again. Um, it's really kind. Thank you. I realised I'm feeling a bit pumped because I'm not doing anything. No exercise, no swimming. So I'm off for a swim. Hopefully that'll make me feel a bit better. I want a chicken out. It's cold down here. Maybe a very quick dip. treasure hunt I long for something new Have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance Oh, I wish it was me Every night When I close my eyes I see Yeah. 
Yeah, when people do cold water swimming telling you it isn't cold, don't believe them because it bloody is. I think the water's about five degrees at the minute. But I had a quick dip and I feel better. Okay, I'm showered. I'm a bit warmer. Now I'm going to have something hot to warm my insides because that was bloody cold. Soup and bread for tea because I can't be bothered making anything else. And tomorrow I think I want to treat myself and go over to the youth hostel. Because we're going to do that tonight but I forced myself to go out for a swim instead. I'm going to treat myself tomorrow. Yes, I know. One for you. And one for you. So I'm going to have my tea. Have a very early night. Because I'm on an early. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm on my dinner. It's not stopped raining since last night. But because my driveway is torn. I don't know. see if I can open the door. Look at this. That's just traipsing into the van and the awning. Every time I come in and out, every time I have to walk the dogs, what a faff. So I'm going to take it off tomorrow. See if we can dry it out a bit, see if we can fix it. Because that is disgusting. Shh, it's just a car. It's such a knobhead. Yeah, that's pretty disgusting. <laughs> Um, luckily I've got a mat down in here, so I'm stepping onto the mat, but obviously I'm trying to dry the dogs off because they jump straight onto the bed. we have got mud on the bed already. What a faff. Oh well, it is what it is, isn't it? And I've got to try and get off this pitch tomorrow because I need to go shopping. So I hope I can. <laughs> oh well, we'll see what we I'm coming over to the youth hostel for my tea. And um, we get it for free, apparently, because we work on the campsite, so that's pretty good. So, Good job, I've got no food. <laughs> I'm having steak pie and I'm really hungry. Um, the weather's dire, so hopefully it'd be nice and comfort food for my belly. I just had a thought. This is the actual first proper meal. Or well, I will have eaten out on my own. So it's a little bit scary, but I'm doing it. That is huge. But I'm starving, so hopefully I can finish it. I am defeated. And that was a massive portion. I've eaten a fair bit, but I can't eat anymore. I think I'm just going to have to roll myself down the hill back to the van. <laughs> morning all it went very cold last night um there's a bit more snow up on top of the hills and lots of bits of my awning was frozen so it's time to get up what this pair you okay hmm? Can you go for a walk? get this awning off because it's flopping around again a little bit and dripping everywhere and uh go to aldi okay the drive away is off as you can see, that's where it's torn. So I need to find somewhere dry to put it while I go out to Aldi. Uh, I think I've got some duct tape coming off Amazon today. It should be here. If we can dry it, it should be able to fix it. Fingers crossed. Well, this is a going. So we're on our way to Aldi. And then I figure out how to dry this on and out when I get back. So I've got no idea. Trust you when you say, you say, you say that 
these two back because you're not happy chappies are you? Look at all the snow that's gathered on the top of the mountains again. They were pretty bare yesterday so that was what's come overnight. That's how cold it is. I'm back from my shopping trip and hooked up. Probably see the cable out there. Um, I borrowed a cable from work but it didn't work. I plugged the plug socket in in both the plug sockets and we got no 240 volt. Why is there mud all over my telly? And the dog's that. Um, just had a near on accident with a motorhome coming around the wrong side on a bend and I ended up in the mud. Um, I'm going to show you what Gladys looks like because luckily I don't, she's not, it's not had any damage but they've got big mud banks at the side here fortunately where there's my pants again but look what a piggy nightmare so the hook up don't work and I nearly had a crash I think I'm just going to stay in for the rest of the day <laughs> as you can see I took the driveway off the dogs are in the awning at the minute um, just trying to Get it dried out in there i've put the hook up plug thing in there to have the heaters on and hopefully my duct tape will arrive and i can see if i can fix it it's getting windy again not fun this <laughs> i've had a look and i can't i can't seem to buy a replacement so i hope i can fix it because as you can see it's a, a bit of a mud bath without the shelter and a part really skew with because I nearly had a crash. <laughs> Today is not go well. I'm trying to dry my driveway out so I can oh. try and fix that tire. Oh. Duct tape should be coming. Shut up between one and three according to Amazon. You know people tell you van life you live in the dream. Sometimes you are when the weather's your friend. And sometimes the weather's your worst enemy. <laughs> I don't feel like I'm having much luck at the minute. I hope I can fix it because it's just it makes life so much easier. We've got winds again. Um, they're not as high, but hopefully this awning will survive. If I do stay for winter, I need to get something a bit tougher than this, don't I? Some people are telling me not to stay for winter because it'll affect my mental health. I don't know. I'm not fully decided what I'm doing here for anything, really. But I'm just currently stood up in the awning with the heaters on, trying to dry that out. And Daisy keeps trampling all over it. Also trying to dry out my wetsuit and stuff from the other night, because they're still not dry. <sighs> well, at least I managed to put most of my shopping in the fridge. Some of it not. So I need to get the hook up cable back in the van put my stew on in the slow cooker put some washing on and I don't think I'm moving for the rest of the day I think I might just snuggle up in the van with the dogs and watch film because the weather's rubbish it's supposed to be better tomorrow so I'm going to go on a walk tomorrow but it's not great today at all and because I was so down on food, my shopping bill was like 60 quid, which is a hell of a lot for one person on their own. But that includes dog's food and we barely had anything in at all. Like most of that was empty. The fridge was empty. So that'll keep me going for a little while. And just going to have to see how I get on with uh, poor old Gladys. Because the water seems alright but she's making a funny squeaky noise I don't know if you mentioned from the, do you notice from the engine now and well, I'm getting worried about that I might ring Mario um, Brian says he's a really good mechanic down in Aviemore and he does come up so I might ring him and ask him to come and have a look at it because I don't really want to take it that far away take her far away if there's going to be an issue it's me overthinking things again I know that but I am who I am while I'm sat on the floor in front of the heater trying to dry stuff drive away, shoes, gloves, wetsuit. I've just been working out dates, so we're now on Wednesday. Hi Daisy. Um, I left the motorhome seven weeks ago on Friday and I came here four weeks ago on Saturday. I think it was Saturday. Um, so 
In terms of time, it's not been very, very long at all. I think I'm doing all right, <laughs> considering. I have my odd wobble though, uh, but I've got my little dudes. You help her, yeah. Hmm? You helping? You helping mummy? Yeah. Helping mummy be a pain in the ass. Hmm? It's a big pain in the ass. <laughs> it's a big pain in the ass. <laughs> she doesn't do kisses very often, Daisy. One of which she's really excited. Or certain people she just like to kiss. I don't know why. <laughs> she's sweet. My little baby. Oh, and I did buy some hair dye today because, as you can see, my greys are coming back through and I've got even more of them. Oh well, I am getting old. <laughs> Shall we pack this stuff away in a minute and go and watch a film? Yeah, let's hope the Wi Fi is good enough for us to watch a film. After a bit of faffing, I managed to get the fire stick all the way up there and the connection is a little bit better. So it could do with being on that side of the van, but as you can see, the plug is a little short. Maybe we could get a longer one of them. So we'll see, because I couldn't even get on the home screen a minute ago, and now I'm on the home screen. So that's one thing. Oh well, I'm going to go and have a pee. I've had to tie the awning down on this side because the winds are 40 mile an hour gusts today, apparently. But yeah, the weather's dire. So I'm going to do what I used to do in the house and the motorhome. Hide in the van. <laughs> For these two. film watched. The weather's still pants. I really like to go out for a walk. I don't even want to get one. I don't even think these are a poor walk. Look at the state of them. <laughs> the sun key's trying to come out. Oh, well, maybe I'll get a break in the weather in a bit. I forced myself out for a walk. I brought these two. I'm just down to the lock for a little walk. Need to get outside a little bit, even despite the weather. Come on. I kind of had a realisation that despite the fact that everything seems to have gone wrong this week, my driveway ripped, my really rubbish weather, nearly got run off the road today. I've handled it quite well. <laughs> so maybe I am stronger than I think. I've not had a meltdown. I have the odd cry, but not about that. When things go wrong, I just tend to deal with it. The crying's about emotional stuff is a bit different. But being here is helping, definitely. Even despite the adverse weather I've been having lately. It's supposed to be nice tomorrow. So hopefully I can get out for a proper walk. 
fingers crossed because uh, we've still got quite high winds today well wind gusts of up to 40 mile an hour apparently but the sun's trying to come out look still very choppy on the lock I ain't got my paddle board out yet I need to pump that up and make sure that's alright really oh well job for another day so I did just put my washing on I'll check that on the way back see if I can wipe the drying on while I'm down this end of the campsite so I don't have to trek across muddy fields again and I've moved my van a little bit over so I'm not stepping out into the mud but hopefully with the driveway off and the rain not running straight onto it it should dry be about it for this video obviously the next one will be whatever i do tomorrow uh yeah because this has just been me having a really rubbish week <laughs> i'm sorry for all that <laughs> anyway um thank you for watching everyone and thank you for your, all your continued support and lovely comments i really do appreciate every single one of them and i'll see you in the next one see you later